Okay, sorry guys, I had a phone call, so I needed to take it. So now we're getting back, and I actually decided to take the board off and put a uh, soft mount here, just just like a, the rubber grommet here uh, on the inside. Uh, I'm gonna change it from the Asgard one and use the one that I like, um, and I'm fighting with it right now. So just bear with me a second. I'm gonna hurry up here. The ones that come with the Asgard are pretty cool. They're neat in color too, but man, are they weak. Like if you pull on it, it'll just rip. Like these just shred it, and I hate that. But I mean, it's it's it doesn't reflect the quality of the board. It just reflects the damn the, the cheapness of the, or I guess maybe the fact that I don't take my time with this, you know. But uh, don't care. I'm not gonna waste my time pushing uh, this piece through. It'd be delicate about it. I'll just use something that I know can can handle it a little bit better. So let me go ahead. And I know you can still hear the prints. They're almost done. Uh, that machine is about a foot away, so it's one of three Mark IV's machines, and they're pretty loud, so sorry about that, but they'll be done soon. Okay. Oh my god, I look like a dork. Alright, there we go. Doesn't help. I lifted it up. Ah, let's see. Okay. this desk up a little bit or everything's going to get in the way. Put that up. Put everything aside. Okay, now because of that, I actually took the two mil spacer off because with these on, it should still give me plenty of room here. So let me just verify that. It's going to be a tight fit. Let's spin this around a little bit. There we go. there. Everything looks like it's sat nicely. I'm going to get a couple more of these down just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Great. So now these would go on. we're even here. I think everything looks good. I mean, we're enough off the board. Nothing's flexing enough to cause the board to hit. Uh, we 
plenty of distance off the screws, so everything looks good. All right, so let's get back to what we're doing here by prepping it. Now it's time to prep. Let's go to the pads here. I'm just going to put some down. I mean, that'll be fine for now. All right, so looking back now. All right, so there it goes. That's our print. It's done. That, clo that, that one that's closest, the machine's closest, it's done. So it should get fired right here real quick. Um, I opened the setup here, and I noticed my camera was missing. So I'm going to go grab another one. All right, so I'm going to put this DJI aside. I'm going to grab this one here. I think I opened that one for a demo, and I don't think I put the camera back, so let me just go ahead and get this one going. Uh, here we go. Now this one is new, so we're set here. Okay, and here's our cables. And the way this is going to sit is it's going to sit something like this, okay? So to understand how the configuration goes, these are going to be cut down, and this is going to sit flat. Now, I have normally mounted it standing straight up, but I'm gonna entertain putting it this way only to see what options we have with the antenna, all right? The XT60 is gonna run out the back here and come up from behind, and uh, we'll put the motors in accordingly. So right now, what I need to do is I need to go get the motors, and I'll be... All right, so I'm back. We picked up the uh, Brother Hobby R6 2207 2400 kV motors. Let me take these antennas out of the DJI unit. Let me get this stuff down in the trash. Now, I'm going to set the air unit aside over here, put the screwdrivers up, get these push pins put away, don't need these out anymore. All right, I'm going to get the cable set aside, and we're going to get to working on the motors right now, okay? So let's work on the motors a little bit, see what we've got. Now these are going to be, well, I'm going to put these back because these are not the right version of the, uh, these are the R5s, I need the R6. So let me go back and try to find the R6 and I'll be right back again. All right, so it looks like we're back with the right motor. This should be the, I'll verify it here in a second. Ooh, that looks right. So let me verify each motor. R6, 2207, 2400 kV, and we've got four of them. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be awesome, awesome build. All right, hands down, this is gonna be beautiful. All right, so let's open the rest of them. There's one, two. Three. Four. Now, let's put them on the frame. Let's get an idea of how long these wires are gonna need to be. So let me check the length here. Uh, that's it's okay. I think I can go a little bit longer. I don't know what they've given us here, but let me check out the length of the screws that they've given us on here. These might be too long. No, these might be okay, actually. All right, so let's see what we got. I'm going to just put motor one on, or a motor. Oh, this is motor one. And I just want to see how it sits with these screws. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so we'll use the V8 screws, so why not? And since this is equal distance from all motors, 
you can just get one measurement and duplicate that four times or replicate it four times. Okay, so we're going to go here and it will come in. Let's just say we turn it, we go straight over it, run it. Let's see. So we will be at about the longest. So I'm going to measure this here. And we'll measure from the heat shrink. I'm going to say 80. So let's see if we have, I believe we have an 80 marked already on heat shrink. So let me check. Pretty sure I had it. Where it went, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure I had it. Or else we'll just make another one. So we are going to make a heat shrink that says 80. I know I have it. Somebody's been messing with my stuff, but that's okay. Let's see how long this is. Where's that? Oh, that's perfect. It's exactly 80. So I'm going to go ahead and use one of these to guide the cut. So here's what we're going to do. It's going to be very simple. Come on down, drop this down to the heat shrink of the motor, like this. Uh, and cut. Save your wire. Put them in a Ziploc baggie. It's good to have this stuff. There you go. One. And four will be the one that's on the board here. There's our three. Okay. Okay, so we've got our wire put away here, and I am going to go ahead and begin collecting all these here. So I can get them out of the way. Go ahead and get another small Ziploc. Start dropping all the frame screws in there. Okay, so let me do that. So now with this cut, right, what we would want to do is we want to tin it and then I guess we can heat shrink it. I don't know. I've kind of started getting out of that. Um, I've, I've enjoyed the taping of the, the wires in instead now. So I may just take these and try to make this a pretty clean, uh, pretty clean with just the tape. I don't know yet. Main thing is we've got to tin this stuff and get it ready, right? So let me clear out the area and let me put on my nerd goggles and let me find my hands wherever they may be 
Your guess is as good as mine. And everything around here lately has been a little crazy. So let me see where the helping hands go. You there? Okay. So let's start stripping all these wires. got all the wires stripped now. Clear that off. Let's get our uh, flux paste, which is... We have to open a new one of those. That's getting pretty low on flux paste, but I still know I did have some left. And again, where that is, is now a mystery. Oh, there it is. Pops right in front of me every time. Okay, let's put those cables in there. Let's get the mounts out of the way. All right, so here what we're gonna do. We're gonna just go ahead and dip each of these into the flux paste, like this. There you go. Okay. And then get in there and just start twisting up the strands, okay? Make sure you get them twisted good. That flux paste is going to work its way into all those strands that are open. One, two. There we go. Again, if you guys need any flux paste, we offer that on the website under our tools and then soldering section. Now, let me look at a paper towel because this stuff's nasty. Okay, I'm gonna wipe the wires because they get real slippery. And then we're gonna go ahead and tin these up. Here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna knock it out very quickly. All right, just kind of offset all of them. All right, and just put it on high heat and get ready. There's one, there's two, there's three. Take that off. The next one. That's my wife. She's back. Can't believe this October we're going to be married two years. She has put up with a ton. She is an amazing wife, an amazing, amazing stepmom. And let me just tell you, that stepmom, stepdad job, I mean, I'm assuming for stepdads, got some buddies that are, it is not easy, especially when nobody wants to cooperate. So I got to hand it to all y'all. Especially her. She's a trooper, man. Love her to death. She's awesome. All right, so this is the last one. Here we go. So I'll do this here. There's one, two, 
and three. There we go. Okay. Clean that off. This here. Get out of the way. These are still going to be kind of hot and so uh, they're not going to be good to touch right now because they're going to be super hot. So let's just get them off. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh. Hey. Hey, you can, hey, if you want, you can come in this way if you need. Here, let me get the door for you. I'm, I'm doing a video, but you can come in, okay? No, you're, don't apologize, bud. I don't care. Hey, you want help with that? Okay. okay, so got my kids coming and helping my wife with groceries. So sorry, you're going to have some noise. But hey, you know what? That's part of hanging out with family. So deal with it. Here we go. All right, so the question is now, do I want to put uh, some... Oh, there she goes. She's got the trash kids in hand. She's on a mission. Don't mess with her when she's on a mission. Uh, you know what? I'm going to... If I do put them, I'm, I think I'm just going to stick with black. Anyway. So let me just see. Put these on and see how I like it, if I like the look or not. Because uh, they're not going to be fully... They're not going to be all the way... Yeah, that'll work. I'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these heat shrinks on and maybe just tape over those a little bit or tape right in front of it. I do like the tape look, actually. Uh, let's go with this. There we go. Twine. And spread it out to make sure the wire stays straight. Once they're straight, flip it over. Do it again. Hey, baby. Where are you going? Okay. All right, so as these get done, I don't put them back on the table. I'm going to go ahead and start mounting these now. So here we go. So we can start cleaning up the table and get some of this product up. I'm going to do one. There we go. And two. Here, and I'm only going to put two screws in per motor right now just to hold it in place. After that, we can do a final but. Right now I just want to hold it in place. We'll put those motors. Hey, Mama. How's it going? Good. Just finishing this build. You doing okay? Looks good. Did yeah. you make sure to put the emergency soccer camels on? Yeah, I did the ESCs. Yeah. Okay. Listen, um, I had to. I pulled. I had to go through a bunch of motors to find these. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't make a mess in there. But they need to be labeled along with the number like twenty two zero seven. Need to be labeled R five or R six because I ended uh -huh. up pulling the R fives out. Okay. And it took a while. Um, hey, can I have a coffee? Yeah. I know you've been running around, but when things... I was thinking, did Jane give you the one I made you earlier? Um, I think he did. Is that the one you're on my computer? Because maybe that's the one I need to finish first then. I'm going to get this number there real quick. I'm trying to call. So I can well, it's like it'll send you to a toll-free. Yeah. But I just want to get to that person. Try to reach that person, you know? The 936... Yeah, don't, you don't have to say the number out loud. Just that number. Oh, I see. Okay. okay, you'll see his name? Yes. But then it sends you to a toll-free number. And so see if you can figure out a way around that or how to get to that person. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want some of the information on there. You'll see a couple little numbers at the top. They may ask. I don't know. All right, so there's motor two, guys. Okay. And then we're going to do motor three. Or, I mean, this is the third motor. I'm not going in order of motor number, actually. Uh, let's do this one. Thanks, baby. Love you. Love you. Did you take Jaden with you? Yeah, he was. Oh, that's fun. Hey, what up, JJ? How you doing? Good. I am? No, you're, hey, you're fine, dude. <laughs> hey, you're fine. You, you're not bothering me. You could be on the video. Want to come say hi to everybody? Hi, guys. <laughs> He, right there, yeah. See, all right, so so we'll take a break here and show. There's my boy. That's my boy, Jaden. No, I look like a dork with these glasses. These extra glasses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is my son, Jaden, right here, and we have been flying airplanes this week. Uh, he he actually loves flying fixed wing, and I know nothing about it. So he's um, schooling me right now, and I'm enjoying it. So we're working on some stuff for him too. And I love you very much. I took the baby. We've been having fun. no what off the spot off the air bike. Yeah. Why? Band aids are there to stay on. I put it on today. I know, but like, but, no, but it came but, off a little bit. And then you put it back on. No, but like. Uh -huh. All okay, are we gonna all right, well, I'm getting ready for some Fortnite after this, so you better be ready. I'll be ready. You sure? I'm going to kick your butt. You're going to kick my butt. Boy, I got your number. You're going to lose. Okay, 
<laughs> Love you. All right, so let me let's get back to work here. So there we go. All right. All right, there we go. So we've got everything on this side done, right? So now we're just going to go ahead, solder the pieces on, call it a day. So here we go. Hey, um, I can't have that on here. Uh, I'll... Sorry, guys, had a phone call there. I need to help my wife with. Let's get back to it. I only did one extra motor, so now we're going to get down to the uh, other motors that we have left to solder. So let me do that real quick. Some of these I want to kind of retit a little bit. There's a little bit, they need a little bit more solder on them than what was on there when I tinned it. Let's do that. these because of the way I'm doing it I want to go the other direction so I'm going to tin from the inside out on here because I'm getting too close and I want to really make sure I get these down good but the other wires getting kind of close so let me just start over from the outside and do it, take it in there there we go just like that This time we'll do it the right way. Go in the right direction here.
Okay. There we go. So we got all the motors done. And we'll make them look clean here in just a second. So after that, what we're going to want to do now, we're going to want to go ahead and get the DJI set up, DJ, DJI set up. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and tape down the motors first. Might as well get the cosmetic side of this part done. So I'm going to go with a, a wider tape, right? Something that I can just do one piece with. So let me grab this one here. Okay, now somebody's taking my scissors. But I found them. Here they are. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let's just make this simple. We're gonna take off. Um, I'm gonna say a hundred millimeters. Why not? That's a little excessive, but hey, that's what we do. There we go. So take that one. And then three here. And then four here. Top. Four here. What is that? That's so see I Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> you can hear the boys playing upstairs. Love those sounds, man. I love those sounds hearing the boys play. All right, so here we go. Uh, let me pop. Okay, guys, sorry for that. Thanks for your patience. I had a very important call to take. Um, and uh, so yeah now back to work right so we've got all four motors taped up okay and I'm just gonna go grab these prints real quick so the first prints that I've got we've got a couple of them actually so this is gonna be the first one I'm gonna bring you this is the DJI uh, this is the DJI mount that we made here this uh, works this uh, goes here right and so the DJI unit right here all right let me make sure I put this right. This is going to go like this. And this actually sits and goes between the, it goes in the standoffs, okay? So let me kind of give you an idea. I'm going to go ahead and put the standoffs on now because we're pretty much at that point for the most part. So let me go ahead and grab the screws that came with the frame. Okay, and I'm actually going to try to use the long screws just to get it to the, uh, hopefully it'll go into the standoffs without any issue. Perfect. All right, so there's one, and there's another one here. Okay, now that one's not going as good, so let me just make sure. It could just be me. No, that's going to be too long, so let me see. I'll have to use a reduced screw, which is fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. So let me go down to this one. Then I'll make them all the same here in just a second. Okay, there we go. Let's move 
this out of the way for right now. There we go. Let's do the last one. Okay, so I'll give you an idea of how this is going to fit. All right, so then what happens is we measure this, all right? And we want to make sure that when it fits down here, see that? It fits perfect, right? And it's going to sit uh, right there on the, um, uh, you can see these those those pieces there, right? So it's going to sit, and it can sit that high, I guess, if you wanted it to, uh, but I really don't care for it to do that. So. Uh, let me show you uh, the plan here. So, where I did oh, here it is. So here's our top plate as it stands, right? And and we plan on running this up through the top there. So with, with the um, with the uh, lipo strap coming through, right? So the reason I put these is because what I wanted to do is that I wanted to come in and I wanted to cut them just like that, okay? And what's cool about that then is they stay, I mean, they're gonna stay solid now, but now look at this. I'm gonna set this down and there's gonna be plenty of room here uh, and give me plenty of room to the top, just like that. So I've got great clearance. I've got great airflow going through. This is gonna sit very nice. You could actually narrow this down if you wanted and make it even thinner uh, if you want. And then what I'll do is I will, um, I will end up putting, uh, we'll end up getting these fastened here and then I'll put like a small uh, zip tie or something around here to keep it uh, base down. But it'll also have, uh, there will also be a glue spot right here on each of the four posts. And then there will be double-sided tape inside. So this thing's gonna be held pretty darn good. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, so the next thing is going to be my, let me go to my uh, tutorials here online because I've got all my notes on my page and I wanna go look at my notes real quick before we go any farther. So I'm going to leave this and then I'll show you the, uh, let me see, where is it? Let me show you the prints for the camera holder. Okay. So again, these, these are awesome, man. I love this. So these are going to go here. And as you can see, I've, instead of having to use a spacer, I've integrated a four millimeter lift on these. So what ends up happening as they sit like this. Get this one in here. Okay, and then the camera will sit perfectly in between them. Okay, now I'll take the screws off, obviously. The screws are on there right now. So these are the pieces that are gonna make this drone come together. Now, I've gotta get the wiring done. So let me put, um, let me do the Asgard. Uh, let me see. I want to get to my DJI. Uh, let's see if this is going to be it. Nope. Yeah, so there we go. Okay, so I'm just referencing some of my notes with this board. This is a very, the Asgard board is an intense board, man. It takes a lot of work. So. I want to make sure that I reference my notes to make sure I do it the same way I did my other build, which was an excellent, it came out great. Okay, so cleaning up the desk, making room for things here, and getting all these screws put together. Like this, get rid of these, and we're good. Okay, now, let me see where I put my stuff. First thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and um, look at our wires here and see how this is going to sit. So this is going to the front and we know our wire harness is back here. All right. So this can go just like so. And we're going to basically flip it around pretty close. So it's only going to go to right here. So we're going to cut quite a bit of this wire off. But I'm going to peel it back first. So let's just kind of get it going back to there, there, oh well, 
It went all the way through. That's fine. So fine. Whatever. May go all the way through then. Okay. So there we go. Now, I said we had to put in a voltage regulator because this gentleman wanted to be able to go to, um, uh, what was I saying? Uh, 5S, but it will blow the, the, um, It'll blow the DJI unit. So let me grab here a, I'm trying to find it here. I have one, but I already opened for testing. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Sorry, I'm coming. I just have to, I want to see where I put my, Regulator at. I have it on this desk. I was using. I don't see it. So let me through a bunch of work that I just did and there's stuff all over the place here so bear with me a second as I find everything that I need and then I'm gonna grab my regulator and we're gonna get to doing that okay you know what? I'm gonna go dig a little bit up all right got the voltage regulator it's a JHEMCU all right so we're gonna go ahead and open that up pretty simple uh, process here. You can find these on our website as well. All right, so what we're looking to do here is we're going to go ahead and uh, tin it. And let these, there we go. Let me just take my glasses off because they're just getting in the way. Um, where is my, let's get these out of the way. pretty cool because you can come in with up to 36 volts okay and then you're gonna go out and you can pick either 5 or 12 so I'm gonna go obviously with 12 so let me just clean the tip of that off real quick there we go okay So what we know, and what I'm, I guess what I'm going to intend to do, is I'm going to place uh, this probably somewhere around here, just because it's pretty insignificant, and I, I know I can get it stuck there with no problems. So my ground and such will be going to there, okay, like this. So we plugged in the back. So I'm going to put that like right there, um, and then uh, so that should be. I'll make it that long at least. And then what I'll do is I'll zip tie and heat shrink that. So let me take that off. And then this will go from here to our VBAT. Okay, we've got some VBAT spots here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the two grounds that I just, or the two wires I just cut. I'm going to go ahead and solder those in. All right, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. There's one. There's two. to be the in. 
Okay, so there's our positive in. Let's do our ground in. Okay, so those two are done, right? And then we know the out is gonna be over there. So we go ahead and get the in part finished by connecting it to the flight controller. Okay, so let's go ahead and see, because we're gonna heat shrink this anyway. So if we did that. I think what I'll do is I'll just run it over here. It doesn't really matter actually, either way it'll be fine. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some flux paste again. Let's get this ready. And then spin it up. There we go. Okay. All right, now, on this board, we have, no, I do need, I guess, any anyway, glasses, or I need a stronger magnifying. Oh, man, so much better. Okay, so right here, right, this is our VBAT right here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to trim this wire up, though, because that's a lot of wire to leave exposed, and we don't need that much. Go ahead and just trim that, trim that. So I'm going to take the red wire and go to the VBAT, okay? here there you go and with the ground wire I'm gonna go to one of the ground spots right here okay there we go and so that is now done so now we have 12 volt or sorry 16 volt or 17 volt or whatever it is all the way up to 5s so 22 volts, whatever, maybe, what is that, 4.3, and 5 is going to be 21, 22, 21, 22 volts. So we've got that coming in, and now to go out, we're going to plug that into here, right? So this is our cable. I need this hat to quit moving, and I don't know why it keeps moving, but I wish it would stay. Okay, let's try that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and strip these now. Since it's time to go ahead and connect this anyway, might as well start with the power for the DJI. So let's go ahead and do that. Thin those wires up. Put some flux paste on there first. All right. Let's kind of find a spot where you can lay them. You can use your helping hands or whatever. Okay, but just realize that once you attach these two, you're kind of gonna be confined to this area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of just set these wherever I want. I just want to tighten them real quickly. They're real quick. This is a two second. These wires are so tiny. There's nothing to it. So there's one. Let me do the next one. There's two. All right, so that's tinned. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put that on the output of this regulator actually going to that side so let me do that okay just like that go ahead and let this hold it in place like that there we go I'm gonna go put the ground on first There it is. And now I'll put the uh, positive. Okay, now, here's the kicker. So on this unit, 
If you want 5 volt, you leave it just like that. But if you want 12 volt, you bridge this little area over here. There's this little, little area right here that you need to bridge. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bridge it real quickly with some solder. And that's going to bump us to about 12 volts. And there it is. And that should be bridged nicely. And we will test that out in just a second. Okay. So with this done, we can go ahead now and we can heat shrink it. Let's see if I got a heat shrink that's going to fit this. And I do. So that's good. So let me cut some of that down. I think this will be all right. This might be a little too narrow, but let's see. Okay, there we go. Everything looks good. It's separated nicely. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. Okay, so that's done. And what we want to do is we want to put this this glue on because we're going to end up gluing it down all right so we're going to put this like right here and these wires will just kind of stay nicely tucked away right here all right okay so the next thing is going to be these set of wires here so what we've got is let me make this clear so we've got the white i mean the red the black the white is going to go to the uh, tx so we're going to take this to the tx and we say we're going to use number three so we know that this is coming out back like this. So we can probably just start making all these wires about the same length. So let me just go ahead and kind of get prepared for that. And we will cut this one here. All right, and then we're just gonna go ahead and follow suit with the rest of them. So let me go ahead and get the rest of these cut up. S bus should be able to reach, yeah. But just to make sure, yeah, that'll be fine. Trying to move these so they don't get tangled, so bear with me a second. Because this is going to go up like that. There we go. Perfect. Now let me straighten that out. Okay. And there we go. So now we're going to strip all of these. Okay. So there's white. You're going to have gray. And then you're going to have this ugly yellow looking wire, which is your S bus, and then you're going to have your brown wire which is another uh, ground, okay? So, let's take that, put each of them in the flux paste. There we go. hands here. Let's tin them up. to give up with these damn things. Oh, you know what? Oh, I don't know where it is. So I need this to not move, right? So let me see if I can. Is there a way to lock this? I don't know how. I don't have time for it right now. Figure it out later. Right now, I'll just deal with it. Okay. So. We're going to put the white to the TX, the black or the gray to the RX, and so we have 
the TX3 and the uh, RX3. So white will go to TX. So let's go ahead and put that on there. You gotta make sure you cut these wires really short too because these pads are very close up here. So there we go. Let's do that. Okay, gray, again, cut it short. It's gonna go to RX. There it is, TX and RX3. Okay. And then we have our S bus, which is gonna be our yellowish looking cable. And that's gonna to go to the S bus pad, which will be right here. Okay, and then the last one we have is another ground. And we got plenty of options, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put that one right there, most likely. I'm gonna leave that cable a little long because that ground uh, darn it, is a little bit, uh, it's got a little bit of room there, so I'll go ahead and leave that cable long. So let me do that. But I also don't want it to get too hot because these, TJI's, uh, the silicone around their wiring is really, really fragile. There, so let's just do that. And there you have it. So we've now wired up everything like it needs to be. And we've got our voltage drop here, our voltage regulator here. So there's that. And let me see how I wanna do this now. Just to kind of keep it clean. Let's see if we can do this. It's gonna to come to the back. Okay, perfect. That's gonna come out real nice. So let's do that. Let's see how my glue is coming out. I'm gonna give the glue a little bit more time to heat up. All right, so while that's doing that, let's go ahead and get our XT60. Okay, so here we are. And what I said I wanted to do on this one is I wanted to, this goes, wrong, this goes here. I wanted to bring this out, right? Come out to the back, like here. And there, and there is an opening. And the problem is, is it will not give me that room ahead of time, but let me see where I would want this to go. So if I had it coming like this, it would fit the LiPo perfectly. And even if I had it coming like this, the problem is, I do it any other way. Actually, it, would, it might reach okay. Um, there's a light bulb here. So let me see about. I don't know. I still think this is probably not a bad idea right here. But even if I did go this route. Let me see how much room that gives me. That does give me plenty of room. The other option is I leave it out of there. No. See what I've done in the past is usually just leave it right here, but I don't like that anymore. There's been too much stress put on the cable since then. And so, but at the same time, trying to plan for an XT60 Probably put it here though. That wouldn't be bad either. Because then you could put your stuff, but then it would get in the way of your zip tie. All right, so I'm gonna go this route. It's unfortunate because I have to actually do it with the top on, but that's okay. I mean, I can deal with that. So this is actually gonna be the back right here. 
So, here we go. First thing we want to do is we're going to go ahead and put flux on both of these, flux paste on both of these. We're going to get ready with a ton of solder because I need these wires to be ready to go. And sometimes trying to solder these kind of wires that come from the factory soldered this way can be a little bit of a pain. We're going to see if we can knock that out though. All right. Definitely not scared to use more solder here in order to make sure everything's done properly. So let me do that. Turn this around. Okay, and here we go. Now let's do the ground. I'm going to do it very much the same way, although the ground is a bit harder to work with, so just have patience with the ground, okay? After this, sometimes I will crank the heat up so high just because I get so frustrated trying to keep the heat at a level that I know it should be at because sometimes I'm working with solder and other equipment that just doesn't respond at that heat. And this happens to be one of those cases. I'm going to crank the heat uh, really high here because if I can get it to react faster then it'll offset the amount of heat by, by me not having to keep it on there as long so here's what we're going to do we're going to get this cable and we are going to quickly get it to sink into the solder so let me show you I'm going to start pulling some of the solder off the board like this, okay, just kind of grabbing it and scooping it off here. And I want to get down to kind of a nice smooth layer like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and add quite a nice layer right there. And then I will press it against the new layer that I just opened up and it should kind of paint itself on, okay? So it should allow a nice smooth ridge to form and that will become a pretty strong uh, ground solder, all right? Or ground connection, I mean, with solder. So I'm just going to slowly, I guess, like paint it on. And by doing that, it will absorb into there, and then that entire wire will spread itself nicely onto the um, pad, just like that. Now, you gotta be careful because this is pretty hot, so you don't wanna sit here and burn your board out. So a couple more seconds of this, and I'll be done because it is warm. There's only a certain amount of boards that really require this. This happens to be one of them. So there we go. It's on very solid. I have no problem with that at all. That looks good. And the board, I can still keep my finger on the board. So I know that we're not, you know, like excessively hot, but it is warm and we want to be careful to make sure we don't overheat the board, okay? So now, the only things left that we really have to do here is we need to add a capacitor, okay? We need to go ahead and get our voltage regulator down, our step down regulator. Let me go ahead and see where we're at on the glue. I'm getting tired of these goggles, okay. So on the glue, woo, that's hot. Okay, that's hot. And when it gets really hot, and it's already burning and hurting really bad, just rub it around real quick. It'll, it'll kind of cool down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a nice spot right here, just like that. All right, and I'm gonna press this right into it nicely, just like that. And don't worry about the excess that falls off on the side. I'm not worried about that right now, all right? What I wanna do is I wanna make sure that we have a very solid and secure fit there, okay? Which we do. This is gonna come out very nice when it's done, all right? Uh, and then we need to put a capacitor on here. So let's get a cap. 
and I will take, I've got a ton of them, so let me just take a good one that I like. positive so for the cap I'm actually just going to come in and I'm going to put the cap somewhere like right here all right and I'm going to fasten it like this okay and I'll probably well I may even put it like that I'm not really sure yet I could put it on this side I guess if I wanted to since the wire is longer but I hate to cross that over so let me put this like right here okay yeah, and that'll work out really well. And we will heat shrink that and make it look cool at the same time. So let me see if I have, I think the blue fits well, and it does. Okay, let's grab the blue and then let me take this here. And for the sake of just covering up some of this. Okay, so let's take the blue, cut part of this off. Put the scissors away. Okay, take our capacitor, just like that, and heat shrink it. Here, take our positive. Okay. And then just you know, the same thing, you're just going to kind of paint it on, just like that, all right? It should kind of uh, melt into the existing uh, saw, to, saw in there, okay, kind of should come out looking pretty nice. There we go. All right, so there we go. There's our first cap, or our positive side. All right, and then... I'm not going to dip this back in there. I'm just going to kind of put that flex paste on there myself. And then I'm going to find a way to put this on that makes me feel like it's pretty secure. And that looks like that might be the best option right there. So let me do that. I'll move this out just like this. Down. And there we go. All right. So we will make sure that, that all blends in nicely as well. There you go. Okay. So now we have our cap done, and now what we want to do is clean that up. So let's go ahead and first things first. Take the excess that we have here, bend it out a little bit and cut it. Our cap is on there steady. It's solid, right? So now I want to go ahead, zip tie that. Make sure it stays in place. So... 
We will do a couple. I don't know if these zip ties are going to be long enough, but if not, I'll grab another set. And there's two. So we got two zip ties on there. And they're not really necessary. This thing isn't gonna go anywhere anyway. But then just to make sure that everything stays perfect, we will run a bead right here. Blue. And a bead right here. Blue. Okay. That will help to keep this uh, right in line. Okay. <coughs> Oh, there's that. And now we need to figure out with our XT60 how we're going to do our stuff here. All right, and then we also need to get our wiring done for our DJI. So my my gut tells me the best thing to do here will be to get the wires and hold them kind of out of the way while we apply this mount and only the mount we don't need the DJI in there right now actually so I can just leave this on the side and I can leave this somewhere in here as long as the wires stay out of the way we'll be fine okay let's try that that might work perfect okay now what we want to do here is we're going to go ahead we're going to put our hot glue right here, okay? And we're going to rest these pieces on those uh, standoffs, standoffs, okay? Just like that. Now while that is drying, I'm going to take some 3M. This is not the normal tape I use, but I'm out. And this is actually a thinner tape. I, I love this tape, it's just my fat fingers don't love it very much. But we are going to go around, because we know this is going to sit like this, right? So we know that that's the idea, okay? And so we want to put a rail of this around the entire DJI unit, right? Okay, so let me just... Start putting it and then cutting pieces. them off this is the part I hate
Okay, and I will put a small layer in here, although it has proven not to really do much, but I'll put it anyway just because I want this to really hold nicely. Okay, and you can just press because this isn't going to go anywhere. Okay, and what you have, what you're left with is a system that is ready to be connected. So let's go ahead now and let's I tell you what, let's start putting on so much stuff up here. Let's start clearing out this trash. Okay. And that's what these are great for. Except they hurt, so let me go ahead and go with these. We're gonna clean up this desk, or this bench I mean. There we go. Okay. And we can go ahead now and take the camera off here. Take the screws off, I mean. don't think those screws are long enough. I need to find something a little bit longer, and I think I can use this one. So let me just see. Nope, that's not going to be long enough. So let me go. Move these. Maybe a 10 mil. You see it? It'll very easily become a 10 mil. That might be too long, actually. Yeah, it's too long. So let's, I'll tell you what, we can do, we can either do 10 with a spacer or let's see if we can get an eight mil to work. I'm gonna put a 10 mil back and let's go to eight. It's going to be perfect. Yep. Okay. So the other side.
zip tie very quickly around the regulator or step down converter right here. from the kit. And we're going to put the top plate screws on. I'm going to try to find the longest ones I can. So let me do that. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but whatever that is that is whistling is driving me up the wall. If you can't hear it, consider yourself lucky. I'm going to take these screws off. They don't have enough of the screw length that I want now that's left. And so I don't want to mismatch the screws. So I'm just actually going to pull um, some out of my own bin here. So bear with me a second. All right. What I want is I want the, I'll take the eight mil. Okay.
Okay, so there we go. Now we're gonna place our antennas. And so I'm going to be kind of liberal about these antennas here because I've been playing quite a bit with these lately to try to find optimal spots. And one setup we did was on the ground, on the bottom here, which worked out really well. Um, the other time was against the arm, like right here, which worked out really well also. So I think I'm gonna go like this. Hey babe, worst, you're fine. Oh, you what? You what? So worst way I've ever remembered while I'm cutting all the watermelon. No, you're fine, babe. You're fine. Coffee. You're fine. Hey, listen, on this guy's order. Yeah. Um, can you get everything else that he ordered though? Ready? Yeah, he's sure. got because it's gonna be ready to go. Okay. But then I realized that he's got more stuff. We've got to make sure. I need the rover guy. The rover guy, I understand. I just need this one right now. Oh. Uh, no, it's okay. Just send his. Okay. I'm not worried about that. That'll that'll be fine. I'll talk to him. What is that high pitch whistling sound? I think it's a cricket. That's not a cricket. Okay, oh my God, what, like a King Kong cricket. What are the boys up to? Uh, they are. They are. Jaden's playing his Nintendo. Playing his Xbox. Hey, the XT sixty twelve gauge cable. Did you already put that on there? It's, yeah, it's already installed. Okay. I'll, the only thing that's not is the, um... The batteries, the props, the... Did you do the colorful LED buzzer? I'm, I'm not adding that right now. Okay. You could put that in the kit and send it to them. What about the step-down module? That I did put in. Okay, so I don't need that. You just need to put in the LED. I do not want to install that right now. Um, because there is a change on this board coming, and I want to make sure... So, IMAX charger, he needs swagger straps. LED and probably. Oh, he's getting TBS straps, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then he got he got a 4S and a 5S battery. Those haven't been set up either. Right? I haven't pulled those at all, no. You gotta make sure if there's a receipt needed for that shipment. Mm -hmm. You know, like a, a sales. It's, it's three customs forms. Okay, so it's not like the one to. Um, it's like the one in Bosnia, but uh, in Canada they ask you to put it in a baggie and have it be able to be opened and lift up, not stuck to the box. Okay. Because so. this is he's doing it for one day shipping. Yeah. So we want to make sure that it gets there on time. Okay. It's a big thing. All right. So now that that's on there, I'm going to go ahead and add another layer because I want to, now that I see where it is, I just want to make this really stick well, okay? So let me do that. The LED buzzer isn't part of the build, and to stick that on there, I need to make a piece of 3D printed. Yeah. And that's going to take me some time. So what I figure I'll do is we'll send it to them. And then I'll show them in a video how to install it. But I want to make a nice plate for it because that's the HDLRC one. It's like it doesn't fit properly without a plate. So I've got to make a plate for it. I don't want to just half-ass it and then have this thing look awesome and have a weird looking LED plate. So Okay, we're going to have to close that door. Sorry. Please. It's okay. I just get, I got, I got Mozart up there and there's no telling how much yelling is going to come out of that. All right, babe. Hey, do you like your sushi I got you? Yeah, it's good. There's a ton, isn't there? Did the boys eat more? No, they're ready for me to make fajitas, like, now, so. Uh, I was trying to wait a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Spoiled punks. This is awesome, man. I love this quad. It looks good. I mean, this is really, really good. Everything that we've printed fits really well here. Um, there's definitely room for the stack. I mean, sorry, for the strap. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put our uh, silicone pads now on here. OK. 
Okay, I need to cut that down just a little bit. So let me cut about that much. And now that should fit nicely. There we go. Then we'll put another one a little bit forward. And if you want to take this off, you can, but it does give you plenty of room to uh, put a longer battery if you want, for example. Um, and then with this cable like this, you can literally put your battery almost anywhere and uh, you're going to have plenty of room. So let me see if I have a LiPo here. I mean, uh, I'll grab a, oh, I don't know. I have a 3S just sitting here, but uh, I mean, this is an awkward 3S because this is a weird brand 3S. But I mean, even like this, the good part is, is it literally is going to come to right here. Okay, so what we need to do now is it's done. Now we need to do some configuring uh, and making sure everything's okay. And I need to finish putting the screws in the bottom. Um, and uh, so let me do this and that. And so let's put these back on because we know these have to go on. Away. Those are my kids playing, so if you hear anybody yelling, they're probably getting beat up. They like to beat each other up. Well, one likes to do the beating up, and one does not like it getting beat up, but that's part of it, I guess. All right, let's get rid of this. And I guess I could, just to even it out, I mean, I can't, can't handle not having it even, so let's see where I'm at. Let's see if we can put something perfect. This will fit nicely right here. Okay, you can sit this any way you want, but I do like this. This is gonna be a nice little option to be able to use. Um, all right, so the screws, let's go ahead and do that for the motors. Then we will plug this in and get it in beta flight and get it ready. Sorry, my kids are kind of crazy. All right, one, two, but I love them to death. And then there's one here. One here. Okay, and then let me tighten these ones down. And then we'll get into beta flight. Ooh. Make sure that we are good to go. good this is clean guys I'm really happy with this build and the way everything comes together it leaves enough room hey babe you got his uh, his, uh um, battery straps right yeah you want them? no I just wanted to make sure you pulled them okay now
continuity test to make sure we're not going to fry anything. Cross your fingers. And then we hook it up using a smoke stopper. So here we go. So far so good. Let's go ahead and hook it up with the smoke stopper. Perfect. Everything is looking beautiful right now. So now let's get it on to beta flight. You guys can uh, watch that part here. Okay, so let's do whoops, let's do this and this, and there we go. So let me go ahead and get this connected. And we've got a green light also on our DJI setup, so that's good. connect, reset, calibrate, and let's go to our version first. Version, all right, so the AG3XF, and then let's go to what we know we have in here, because if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's somewhere in my notes. and we were using the uh, 4.1.5. So let's go ahead and crack this up right now. And let's do a firmware update. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Sorry, I uh, had to pause for a second. Uh, let me go. Uh, hey, where am I at? Okay. Gonna load the firmware. And we're gonna flash it. my notes here on these.
Okay, let's connect. Let's see now if we've got our calibration right. So let's go pitch full. Awesome, so that's good. Let's go to our configuration, or sorry, our ports. And our port should have, one is S bus, three should be, uh, no, this isn't right. Um, so we did three. We have no, we're not using GPS here, disabled. Uh, we're using three for our, and not this one. So let's click save and reboot. That should be ESC is four, three, one, ESC, four. Perfect, save, reboot. Let's connect our configuration, okay. <sighs> Down four and let me make sure that I'm okay. Good. Now, let me go and check the firmware now. So let's go in here. Make sure we do a firmware check. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and flash these. Okay, babe. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And the label is there. Uh, so why do you want me to pack this part? Bubble wrap, and then I have left enough space. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so these, sorry, I wasn't paying attention. These, these are done. Let's go ahead now and put these on. Okay, so with the ECs done, put our setup. I don't think there's anything left to write though. And then let's go, okay. Actually, I'm going to remove all this. I am going to remove throttle power vibration. So let me go ahead and write this now. Click okay. All right, now we're going to disconnect. It's going to prompt us to power off, so we will. So we're going to power that off. Okay. Now we're going to connect. Let's power it back on. Sorry. Let's go to motors. And we've got... Let me make sure motor one is running counter. Motor two is running... Counter, motor three is running clockwise, and motor four is running clockwise. So we need to we need to flip one and three. So let's disconnect. Go back to here. Let's read our setup. We're gonna need to reverse one and three. 
So motor one, that's the reverse direction. It's right setup. Motor three, let's reverse direction. It's right setup. Okay, let's disconnect. Now we're gonna turn the quad the right way. Okay, and let's go ahead and connect here. And let's make sure everything lines up properly. So first of all, we have our quad lined up. All the orientation is right. Ports are right. Okay. Uh, configuration is correct. Uh, and let me make sure we've got everything here. Yep, configuration is correct. Uh, we've got our uh, perfect here. Uh, and then we can go to our motors. And now let's just check our motors. We have our temperature coming in. And motor one is clockwise and motor two is counter. And motor three is counter and motor four is clockwise. And if we run them all together, uh, uh, this is the downside to having a smoke stopper. So let me disconnect that. The smoke stopper cannot handle the amps that this pulls. So without the smoke stopper, look at that. I mean, it's beautiful. Okay. And uh, let's see, OSD wise, uh, that'll be handled through. Um, uh, we'll leave our warnings up there, I guess. Battery voltage, core temperature, and craft name, that's fine. Uh, so let's just save that. That's it, guys. Everything on this is ready to go. This thing is ready to fly. So you set your, uh, set your uh, settings here, and you're good to go. So there you go. Guys, it's been a long build. It's, I'm very proud of this build. I think it looks great. Uh, this is one of those builds where I know uh, we're going to really, uh, you know, the customer is going to be able to really enjoy this. Um, and I am looking forward to hearing some pretty good stories about his flying time. Okay. So until then, guys, if you have any questions, please, as always, uh, you can reach me through the website. Uh, right there is the contact page. And then you've got your big, can I, <laughs> one second, God, uh, f follow us on Facebook and please subscribe to us on YouTube. And as always, spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so make the most of it. Safe flying, God bless, God bless, and we'll see you soon. Peace.